Good morning! This is Magnus Helberg here in Los Angeles on a Monday. It is June 4th, 2012. It is 61 degrees in Old Topanga Canyon. And uh, it's gloomy today, kind of overcast. I'm not quite sure if it's just foggy or what because of the heat brought the fog in or if it actually looks a little almost like you're going to be a little drizzling going on. Not sure. Anyway, it is Monday, a new week. I hope it is going to be a good one for you and uh, for everybody. Have a fantastic week. You guys, don't forget that. Anyway, I'm here with my good friend friend here, Scott Carmody, and uh, he has a couple of things he wants to talk about today. Uh, well, I think I'll leave it at that. Go ahead. Well, Magnus and I were speaking this morning about real estate. <clears throat> and for a change. For a change. And, uh, you know, the first rule of real estate, a wise man once taught me, buyers want to buy and sellers want to sell. So, it's very true. Generally, no matter what posturing a buyer has or a seller has in a transaction, they do want to convey that property. So I have learned the lesson over the years to get out of the way and let that happen. Um, it is not uncommon, actually I would say it's the norm these days, that at the end of a negotiation, there is a sticking point. Usually it's a few thousand dollars this way or that way or whatever. Um, and people are not shy about trying to reach into the broker's pockets to cover that delta to make them pay that five or $10,000, whatever it is. And I don't do that. I just don't. My job is not to buy a property for a client. It's to find them a property and negotiate a great deal. So sitting tight, almost all the time, I would say at least 90% of the time, they come to their senses and the buyer and the seller work it out. So... Um, that is just my little tip for the realtors out there that watch this today. Never be in a hurry to pony up part of your commission. You work too hard for your commission. You've got too much liability. Keep your money. Spend their money. That's that, it. That's all you got? That's all I got. Did you, say, did you have a birthday today? Well, we were going to talk about this, and then I was going to finish with that at the end. I see. Okay. Yes. Anyway, that, that is good good information and it's true it's so true i've been there myself and it happens a lot almost in every deal so that's it that's uh, scott comedy's tip of the day tip of the day on uh, june 4th 2012 and uh magnus at the bottom saying goodbye on a monday and wishing you a great week and here is scott.comedy at the partnerstrust.com saying goodbye as well Take care, LA. Thanks for watching. And I just want to wish my son, Kevin, a very happy 27th birthday. 27 years. Kev, I love you. You're a great kid. I'm so proud of you. I hope you have a great birthday and that you and Amy do something fun tonight. And we will go out for dinner uh, over the weekend. Love you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Kev. Have a great day. <laughs>